What am I talking about? I'm talking about Earth. Okay. Okay. I like that place. Okay. So good. Good. So, how long does Earth take to rotate on its axis? From what I've been told, 24 hours. 24 hours. Okay. In fact, we kind of defined 24 hours to mean that. Right. So that's how you think we divide it. So, as you might have guessed, it doesn't take 24 hours. Um, it actually takes 23 hours, 56 minutes, and four seconds. Okay. Really? Yes. Now, so, wait, okay, a so, wait, 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 wait. So, uh, let me just be clear about what I mean. 23 get, hours. Get rid of the entire. Just get rid of the entire solar system. Okay. Watch Earth rotate. Okay. And stand there and time it. It will. That spot that's in front of you will come back around in 23 hours, 56 minutes, and four seconds. One full revolution. Okay. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. That's called a sidereal. There. A sidereal. Like it. Sidereal. Let me start. Starting. So you imagine with respect to the universe. Okay. Nice. However, we don't base our lives on when stars return to the same spot in the sky, in the night sky. We base our days on when the sun, which also happens with our returns to the spot in the sky. Okay. It turns out that takes long. Than 24 hours of the day. Why? I'll tell you why. Because in the time it took Earth to rotate, 23 hours and 56 minutes, it actually moved almost one degree in its orbit around the sun. So it rotates back to where it's previously lying, but it has to turn a little bit extra, a little bit extra to get back to the same A little bit extra to put the sun back in the same spot on the sun. Right. And that's a that, long minute section. That's fantastic. And I was thinking. I'm, I've only just begun. So, so that little extra four minutes. I said we move a degree in our orbit. Sure. I, you know, I didn't just pull that out. How many? How many days are there in a year? Uh, three hundred and sixty. Okay. And how many degrees is that? Three hundred sixty. Yeah. So it's about a degree. It's about a degree a day. Yeah. We, we, so technically, it's one degree and five three hundred and sixty fifths oh, wow. of a degree. But it's basically a degree a day. And in that degree, you have to turn that little extra. So just imagine you keep having to turn your head. Just, just a little bit extra more. Amount. Okay. Because you move just a little bit. So now you got to look back just a little bit. Correct. That's cool. Right, let's keep going. Okay. All right. Earth's orbit around the sun is not a perfect circle. Oh, but by the way, so the first day is a sidereal day. The second day is a solar day. Gotcha. So that's for obvious reasons. And they're not the same. All right now. Earth's orbit around the sun is not a perfect circle. Right? Something, which means sometimes we're farther away, sometimes we're closer. When we are closer, we are moving faster in our orbit than when we are farther away. Okay. That's how gravity works. So, it turns out that extra four minutes is not the same if we're farther from the sun than if we're closer to the sun. Because we move more than our allocated fraction of a circle when we're close to the sun and less when we're farther away from the sun. That's okay, so... The length of the solar day is changing continually throughout the day. Wow. And sometimes it's less than 24 hours, sometimes more than 24 hours. So sometimes the sun gets to the highest point in the sky before clock noon? And sometimes it gets, and so what we do is we just average that over the whole year. Say, son, you are average 24 hours, and there you go. By the way, if you ever look at sundials, there's a map on the sundial that corrects for the sun being early and the sun being late. You had to add a subtract up to 14 minutes of the day from what the sun time reads in order to get a clock time. Wow. So what you have on your clock is the average length of the day over the day. Right. So now we define that 24 hours, each hour 60 minutes, each minute 60 seconds. Got it. Okay. Well, what is defining this? Well, it's the rotation of the Earth. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Well, well, all right. Well, how stable is that? Even in the perfect average that we're taking. It's half spot. You'll never know, will you? Because you're using Earth to define the time. The time? Right. Exactly. And exactly. if, if this is your measure, are slowing down, you will never know. Just like there's no way to know it. Okay, now, back when I was growing up, watches, they would boast, tell old man, they would say, get this watch, it's so accurate, accurate to two minutes a month. Got it. Okay. What? That, 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 that is not a good advertisement. 
day with bad pen and wise because, you know, she walked with ten minutes a month, you have to do some consensual on everything. Why do you think heist movies will always say, let's synchronize our clocks? Right, before they find the heist. They knew that the clocks, we're not keeping the time, Earth is keeping the best time. Okay, so now, you pose a question, maybe Earth is not the best time, but let's offload the responsibility of keeping time to something else. Like a vibrator. Yeah. Okay. So we did that. CCM, uh, the CCM 137. Um, there's a electron transition between two energy levels. There's a very precise frequency. Good. Very precise. You can measure. What's good about that is any lab can get some CCM to measure this and then define the length of the second in their lab. Okay? And when you do this, you multiply by 16. You multiply that by 16. You multiply that by 24. You do, you do this, and you find out that Earth is slowing down. Oh no, it's kind of old. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's been added up. It's yeah, tired. It's, 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 it's tired. 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 It's so you only would know the river's slowing down once you offloaded to something else that's the past time. Right. And what we found out is that the sloshing of tides on the ocean floor, on the beach place, actually works to slow down the rotation of the ocean. Oh, wow. Okay, because the moon is causing these tides. Right. Okay. And we're rotating faster than the moon is orbiting us. So the moon is tugging on its tail. Okay. So it's almost like there's a, a, a counterweight. A counterbalance, exactly. A counterbalance is pulling against us. Against us. So, tides are slowing down the rotation of the moon. And in response, the moon is spiraling away from us by a couple inches a year. Okay, that's in response to what's slowing down. It all relates to what's called conservation angular momentum, but it's a big ballet, okay? And so we just slow down and jump back. So we, what we could do is say, let's redefine the second. The way the second. So that we always have 24 hours and 60 minutes and 60 seconds. But that's messy. Every year. Here's a